Hi guys and welcome to this week's video. I'm in the woods today, but I'm going to attempt to do something that I wouldn't ordinarily do. I have recommended doing this in the past, but it's not something that most photographers would do. You see, when you come to the woods, most people struggle to find compositions because it's all about creating order in the chaos. But what about if we just concentrated on photographing nothing but chaos? It's a great example behind me. Take a look at that. Take a look around here. I mean, this is ghostly. Look at this. What a fantastic woodland setting. Green, green and more green. Look at it through there with that fallen tree. We'll wander around there in a second. I mean, look at that. There's a shot there. That's just incredible. What a fantastic, ghostly looking woodland. Look at that green moss. If I could just darken that picture down. That green moss is just popping, popping off those branches. Again, another shot to be had. Just incredible. So let me just Tell you what's going on in my head now my thought process whilst looking at locations like this and compositions like this and what do i really mean about chaos um i'm forever driving around and looking at woodlands like this and earmarking them and thinking i bet there's some great compositions there if you'll come back at the right time of the day and during the right conditions and so on and so forth but more often than not, what we generally look at is nothing but chaos. And then we spend all our time trying to find that one magical composition that creates some form of order in the chaos. But if you, I mean, I'm just looking at the floor now, looking at all this green moss with the leaves that's just fallen because it's that time of the year. And instantly I'm thinking, if you took a close-up of that now and use that as a desktop background, every time you fired up your PC or your Mac or whatever it is that you fire up, when you look at your desktop background, you'll see something different in it every time. The chances are you'll never see something different in a perfect composition. Perfect compositions are perfect compositions because they're meant to draw the eye from here to here and that's it. But when the eye doesn't know where to look, more often than not, it's a bad picture. But when it comes to woodland photography, it can have the opposite effect. Every time you look at the picture, you'll see something different. And that's what I'm looking at today. I'm not going to be anal or precious about trying to control any kind of order. I mean, we don't with our eyes, do we? When we look out and about, we, we generally just look out and about. We might spot something and we might focus on the one thing. But at the end of the day, we, I bet every one of you would walk past this woodland now, look into the woodland and think, oh, that looks fantastic. But where the drawback lies is when most of us, myself included, step into this woodland and try our best to find something that's magical, that one magical component, that one magical composition that just makes the trip worthwhile. But I think the chaos will do it for me today. gonna move and find a better example than this but when I grabbed the camera to show you guys around 
even I was thinking, well, why should I move away? Let's at least stay here and grab one or two pictures. I promise I'm not gonna do any housekeeping as well. I'm looking at this branch thinking, it would be so much nicer if these odd ball branches that are overlapping weren't in the shot. But I promise I'm not gonna do any of that today. I'm just gonna capture it as is. That's nice. Love that. That's like a scene from Halloween. That there is incredible. I'll show you in camera. Look at that there in camera. So that's what I'm looking at again. I'm zoomed in quite a bit. I just want that chaos raining down and that there. Make sure I was in focus. Is just what I'm talking about. It's just incredible. Let's grab that shot. about that there that point there there's a bit of light on those branches that's overly bright so if I darken that down to expose purely for that lit area there that's pretty cool isn't it they don't come any more chaotic than that that is awesome just check the histogram on that Sean, it's quite dark, but I love that. I want to be careful when I'm walking because I don't want to be that person that just trambles everything down. If you look around here, that carpet of green has no footprints on it at all. There might be animal tracks if you're clever enough to spot them. I'm not saying I am, by the way, but, <laughs> but there's no footprints. So... I don't want to be that person to start that trend. But look at that, absolutely incredible. Just that floor is just wonderful. Look at this here. I mean, it's a shot on its own. Look at that. Oh, there are little tiny mushrooms. They're almost transparent. I've never seen anything like that, ever. Now I haven't got my macro lens with me. Be very surprised what you can do or what you can get away with with a 200mm lens. Let's go to manual focus, see what we're doing. Okay, so I'm too close at that. The only good thing about cameras nowadays is that I can come a little bit further back and the files are so good that you can zoom or crop really tightly into the frame afterwards. That is so nice. That is really nice. So I'll turn my camera back to shooting mode and let's just fine tune that focus in and let's see what I can capture. That's pretty sweet. That's worth the climb up here. And I've also spotted two together. It'll probably look even nicer still. I can't fine tune the focusing whilst I'm in video mode, but I'll fine tune the focusing when I put my camera back to K 
camera mode instead of video mode that it's currently in and I'll grab that shot as well. I just had to stop and take a look at that. How cool is that? Driving along a very interesting road and just over the farmer's fence here, albeit quite a high fence, there's quite a few trees, gnarly looking trees with all the lichen hanging from them. And they are very chaotic, very chaotic indeed. So I'm just gonna stand here and pop a couple of shots off, zoom in right in. I'm not gonna capture the whole tree, I'm going to zoom right in. But I did say I was gonna tell you something about compositions. It's quite interesting looking for the chaos because what I found myself doing naturally was trying to organize the chaos. And I kept taking pictures and then kept saying to myself, why did I place the branch or the cross of a branch you know, on the rule of thirds, leaning into the frame, leaning out of the frame. And I kept finding myself doing that automatically. I'm such a, um, a stickler or I'm really anal for getting the, the minute, minutest of details right that I kept finding myself heading back towards trying to create um, um, order in the chaos. <sighs> but... Uh, that's not necessarily a bad thing because overall there is still a very chaotic feel to the image and that's what I'm trying to uh, achieve. Remember, it's about taking desktop backdrops. When you open up your PC or your Mac or whatever it is and you're faced with that lovely picture of your desktop background, this is what we're trying to achieve. Nothing any more than that. Okay, so I have to keep telling myself that. Right, let's grab a couple of shots here. I've only got time for a few more pictures, but I've come across this lichen on this tree that I really like. And what I did is um, I've isolated, just hear me out, I've isolated one piece here because I think it's quite nice with all of the branches on the go backlit and it's wet. So there's some uh, water droplets in there as well. I think that looks quite nice. But for my chaotic shot, I've actually cropped in quite tight around here. I'll bring you guys in camera so you can see. But then what I've done is I've isolated one bit of lichen hanging from the tree into the tree. So that means I'm gonna confuse the eye now by looking past all of the um, lichen that's out of focus to try and hunt for the one part that is in focus. But that's the power of 
depth of field. Okay. There. So, I'm not sure if you can see it now. Very chaotic. I have no idea what this is going to look like on a bigger screen, but it's that one there. That's the one that's in focus. That one there. So that means the whole picture is all jumbled, except the eye will be drawn to that bit of lichen there, that bit of damp backlit lichen. And that could possibly be interesting. It's certainly, certainly chaotic. <laughs> So I'm driving up this lane and I have found unquestionably the most chaotic thing that you could possibly ever want to photograph. And I am super excited. Oh, it's almost like as if I planned it, but I promise you I didn't. I just happened upon it. I noticed it and I thought, I've got to stop and I've got to take this picture. When I flip this camera around, check this out. Look at that. Look at the detail of that, from that all the way up. Look at that. Ha <laughs> ha! Even up there. <laughs> Look how chaotic that is. I bet I could come here and probably create a vlog just purely around this tree. Isn't that pretty special? That is incredible. What's really strange, I don't think I've ever been so excited about a tree before. It is, I must admit, a pretty cool looking thing. I've taken a few close-up shots, well, pretty much only close-up shots, really, but enough to make it chaotic. So if you looked at it, you'd perhaps think and think again about what it could possibly be. And that's my objective, really, today. Tell you what, that's two things now I wish I brought my macro lens for. that wall. That's such a great wall, isn't it? Look at that wall. 